different uh, institutions, be they uh, business or be they government or be they uh, not-for-profit charitable organizations, uh, uh, respond very differently to pressures and they have different kinds of pressures placed on them. Uh, the biggest pressure, of course, is if you have a competitor. And uh, if a company has a major competitor uh, that your customers can go to, uh, then you realize you better be on your toes. On the other hand, if you're the IRS, and it's probably not wise of me to attack the IRS, but uh, if you're the IRS and somebody has a problem with you and isn't being treated fairly, there's only one IRS you can go to, and uh, they know that. And as hard as their management may try, and I think they do try, uh, to be responsive. Uh, the fact is that when you don't have somebody breathing down your back, you're not as good probably. And so whether you have competition or not, I think is a big factor. Also, there are just very different kinds of leadership that one finds uh, in those three sectors. Uh, one would think that leadership is leadership, but uh, the, the demands are very different. Uh, there are some fundamentals that I think carry across all kinds of leadership. Uh, to act ethically, uh, to treat people, uh, all people, decently, and those fundamentals, they, they translate. But uh, if you just compare, for example, uh, leadership in government with leadership in the private sector. In government, uh, first of all, you have a, in the federal government, you have a 535 member board of directors that likes to dabble in operating matters. In the corporate world, you have a, probably a 12-person board of directors that understands the difference between governance and operations and doesn't dabble in operations. Uh, the, uh, in the government, you have a turnover of the top leadership every few years, in the administration at least, uh, whereas in the private sector, uh, although it's becoming shorter, uh, hopefully if the senior management stays around for perhaps 10 years. Uh, they're just so many differences in the private sector your results are very measurable uh, you could look up every day in the uh, stock pages and see how you did yesterday i had a have a son-in-law who played professional basketball and each morning we'd open the newspaper and he'd open the sports page and he could see right the box score how did he do yesterday i could open the business page i could see uh, our company was listed right along with all the rest of them in government there's no place you can turn to find out how am I doing? Uh, am I doing well? And it uh, is often a very long-term matter. I think there's another important difference in leading in government and leading in the private sector, and that is the, the founding fathers, as I, an engineer, would describe it, uh, set our government up to be more or less uh, horizontally integrated, whereas business tends to be vertically integrated. In other words, they set up checks and balances between the judicial department, and the judiciary, and the executive branch, and the legislative branch. And so they did this with a very good purpose in mind. They didn't want anybody to have a great deal of control. They didn't trust government with a lot of control in one person. Industry is sort of the opposite. Uh, they put a CEO in charge. And if that CEO is wise, he or she will listen to uh, the advice and dissenting advice, uh, hopefully, of those around them. But once a decision is made, everybody lines up and goes. Whereas in government, uh, there are two parties and uh, the party in command may make a decision, but that won't cause the other party to get behind it. So uh, it, I think the really the challenges are very different in these different branches of, uh, of endeavor.